So the same thing we're gonna, like I said, focus on all year, all the time, focusing on deserving, believing, expecting. Because we do do things right. <clears throat> but you have to believe that. I can't tell you we do it right. You have to believe that we do it right. You have to believe that you're training right. You have to believe that you're deserving to win. That you're putting the time in. At the end of the day, when push comes to shove and you need that point at the end of the match, if you don't believe you're going to win, it's never going to happen. The only way you have a chance, you're going to believe it. So today, all we ask for, as always, is my, my new favorite word from, from the summer. Who remembers what it was? Grit. Well, grit, yes, sort of, but it's from the book grit. What is it? Sisu. Sisu. What does Sisu mean? Uh, <laughs> what does Sisu mean? <clears throat> to fight till the end with what? With the expectation and belief that you can still win. There's a big difference on just trying hard and going through the motions and not giving up, and trying hard, not going through the motions, not giving up, and expecting that you still can win even when everything is going wrong. You get up again for the hundredth time with the expectation that this time I'm going to win. A, a truth, not just saying it, pretending it, believing it. So that's where we're at. We're gonna, get, we're gonna warm up, I'm gonna warm you up, we're gonna put some music on. We'll play handball, we'll play, we'll play handball tomorrow probably. I just wanna get moving, uh, get, this, get the gear going. Well, we're gonna move about 20 minute warm up and then we're gonna do some technique, some drilling, and uh, some live, all right? We'll get the music on, I'm gonna put the time on the clock and keep you going. Keep that pressure. season is upon us with the first official day of wrestling practice today. Uh, how excited are you about this season? I mean, we're definitely excited. You know, we, we put a lot of uh, eggs in this year's basket, as I've always said. Um, I'm trying to keep an even keel about it, to be honest with you, but it's, you know, we're definitely excited. We're definitely, um, a lot of planning went to be put in. Uh, you know, it's nice to have the first day of official practice, but in this sport, you know, preseason, we did a nice five and a half week preseason and just got off a, you know, a nice three day break. But we feel like it doesn't feel like the first day of practice because we've already had RTC practice. Guys have been running, they've been lifting, they've been, you know, doing cross training. We've been together, you know, four or five days a week anyway for the last five weeks. So today's just the first day that, you know, we're going to have normal, longer practice. will get longer right now, cover more technique as opposed to being RTC practices coming in for an hour when they're on their own. Now it's, structure and and we got to do a good job of mixing it up keeping it fresh but we're, we're excited we have high expectations and uh, we're excited to put our best 10 out there our, you know as I told you guys if you're one of the best 10 in the starting way you are wrestling I don't care if you're a true freshman I don't care if you're a fifth year senior and a true freshman is better we are wrestling the 10 best guys out there so uh, not, last year we didn't fully do that we we richard some guys for the future you know for a better idea to put it together this year and for the years after this year so we are uh, we're excited this should be uh, a product that we're looking forward to showing everybody you have to be excited with the return of uh, senior Mike Hughes this year uh, he's already ranked in the uh, top 10 in the heavyweight division oh uh, yeah for sure I mean he's uh, he's our anchor 
You know, he's uh, we, get, we we he's he's gonna have to lead the charge. Uh, guys will see him winning, and you know, hopefully, you know, motivate them. You know, not having him last year was uh, was you know, it, it hurt us in dual meets. Um, but we did it for him. We did it for a better future. He put together a great redshirt year, went 28 and two. Um, you know, he's in. He got his only two losses were at the hardest tournament of the year, where he beat uh, seven national qualifiers, two All Americans, and then he lost two close matches to two really good guys. And you know he went there on one leg, got knee surgery three days after he got back from that tournament, came back and won two more tournaments after he healed up. You know he just had a quick knee scope. So uh, we're excited to have him, and if he brings life, you know, expectation and belief. You know, right now according to his ranking, he's supposed to be in the quarterfinals of the national tournament. Those don't mean nothing. We think he's better than that. But even that alone, that's a pretty good feat that even if he just lives up to his ranking as when the first day started, he's supposed to be in the quarterfinals and nationals. Uh, we'll be a pretty good team, but we have a few guys in the quarterfinals and nationals. Uh, so it's good to have his leadership. He's a fifth year senior. Guys look up to him. There's an expectation of him. He, he leads us. You know, we won the Pride Cup the last two years. He's the leading charge. So having him back means the world for sure. You have to also be excited about the year of maturity for the rest of the team, including Sage Helen, a sophomore, who uh, won a bronze with Team USA at the, the Maccabea Games this summer. 100%. Um, as I keep telling everyone, we have an interesting dynamic. Mike's a fifth year senior, but for the first time, we're still really young, but we actually have experience. Like, that's why we put Vinny Vespa in the lineup last year, who took fourth in the IW. That's why we put Sage Heller, who won 23 matches in the lineup last year. Um, we put all those guys in to give them experience. Um, and some other guys registered, like Ricky Stam, uh, you know, uh, coming in. Ricky won 20, 25 matches registered last year. So, actually, 28. I'm lying. He won 28 as well. He won 28 and 8. Um, so, having, we, we still have a young team uh, uh, registered freshmen, true sophomores. That have experience, so that so now you have the, the ability of capitalizing that you're young and having experience, and then with some leadership, some you know one fifth year uh, fifth year senior and Mike Hughes, who's obviously the leader. So that's what the, I'm the most excited about the dynamic of being young but not fresh out the box. We've got some experience under our belts. Three weeks away from the season opener against uh, uh, Franklin and Marshall the day before you have a Princeton Open tournament, but three weeks from the official regular season opener for the Pride. Uh, what are, you, what are your plans for the next three weeks? Uh, I mean, you know, change pace, official practice. You know, uh, we're going to do, do a little different than we've done in the past. We're going to be, you know, we'll be going six days a week right now, but probably four days on the mat, a day of running, and a day of cross training. That's probably going to be the plan as, that we'll go about with wrestle offs thrown in there. We'll just throw us off. But but like you said, um, we'll have wrestle offs. The 10 guys wrestling at the FNM Open on Sunday um, will be determined in that next two weeks. And then whoever the 10 aren't wrestling in that, we're going to bring to the to the Princeton uh, Open to get matches. So I guess it technically is in our schedule, but like you said, we're kind of really gearing up towards that uh, FNM at home at 4 p.m. That's where we're going to be putting. If you're the starter, you're wrestling at FNM. Um, that you know that's the plan. So uh, that, that's what we're moving forward with. But there's going to be wrestling, there's going to be training, it's going to be excitement, and we're healthy right now. We got one guy a little banged up, just a little sprained ankle. Um, besides that, we got everyone else 100% clear to practice hard, wrestle, and that's a, that's a positive. That's a positive, especially when you have a small roster cap. Uh, we focus on trying to keep that you know consistent throughout the year.